pass it over Bergeron and he'd score out. Jeez, I miss those days. Anyways, I've uh, been watching that. Of course, I watched the Celtics fucking Wizards. Oh, the old sports rivalry that most of the sports world does not realize is a fucking rivalry. These two teams hate each other, but you know the deal. It's all about the fucking Golden State Warriors. It's all about the Cleveland Cavaliers. And um, so no one's really paying attention, right? No one's paying attention to these two fucking people. You know, it'd be like, you know, you got the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and everybody's like, oh, my God, they're fucking amazing. And then meanwhile, Herman and the Hermits doesn't get along with the fucking Partridge family. I don't think we're that bad. I'd like to think that we're not that bad. But um, anyway, so the first game, like to, to give you a little bit of a background, for whatever stupid reason earlier this season, uh, the Wizards were like, we're going to dress all in black when we play you guys because it's going to be it's going to be like a funeral. I was like, oh, Jesus, is that what you're going to do? And then what are we going to do? Not try? <laughs> are you going to try extra not, extra hard tonight? Fucking Wizards, right? So even with that stupid little fashion statement that they made, they still beat us. So, but not because they wore black. <laughs> they beat us because they scored more points. So anyway, so we're getting ready to go see them. Uh, we're getting ready to play them. And um, my buddy Josh Adam Myers from uh, the goddamn Comedy Jam. And from the Comedy Jam, they had to clean it up on uh, Comedy Central. We decided that we're going to go down to a cigar bar and we're going to watch the fucking game together. He's a big Wizards fan. And, uh, and he's, a, he's a shit talker, Right. So he's been talking shit, you know, because I think they won this. Uh, I think we beat him like once and they beat us like three times. I can't even remember. And he was talking all this shit. And at one point they were ahead of us in like the rankings. They were number two. We were number three or something like that. He was just talking all of this fucking shit. So the game starts. Cigar bar doesn't open till 11. Game comes on at 10. So I'm sitting there watching the fucking first quarter. They go up two to nothing. Then it's five to nothing, seven to nothing. Nine to nothing, fucking twelve to nothing. Yeah, sixteen to nothing. In case you missed the game, you don't have fucking Sports Center or whatever. Sixteen to fucking nothing to start the game, and you know the game is it's over. If it's any sort of a legitimate, I will legitimate sport. This game is over, and I got I got to be honest with you. I, I will never like one hundred percent be able to believe that that basketball is not fixed. I don't understand it. I don't understand how one team can spot another team 16 points. You end the first quarter, one team's on pace to score 120 points or some shit, and the other team's on pace to score 20, uh, like 75 or some shit, right? Or whatever, 80 points or something. And somehow just, it's always, it's a game of runs. Then out of nowhere, they started like 16 to nothing and then we go on like a fucking 25 to 8 run and somehow the, the score is tied or we're up by like 2 at the half I don't know I went I drove to pick him up and then we you know went over to the cigar bar so there's a lot of chit chat going on and um, by the end of the third quarter we were up by 15 we were down 16 nothing 36 minutes of basketball later we're up by 15 a 31 point fucking turnaround like, do you remember when the Bills came back against the Houston Oilers? This basically that. That happens just about every other game in the NBA. I don't fucking get it. Well, it's a game of runs. It's a game of, is it? How does one team come out ice fucking cold, the other team can't miss, and then like... Like, I've never had a set where I go on stage and it's just like I'm on, and then all of a sudden I'm off, and then I'm on again, and then I'm off. That's what happens in basketball. So we're up by 15. Josh is losing his fucking mind. He's standing up. He's pacing, which is hilarious because it's a cigar bar. It's supposed to be like totally chill. He's fucking pacing back and forth. He's slamming down fucking slices of pizza, you know, like doing like stress eating. And I'm just laughing. I was just going like, Josh, it's the fucking NBA. This game's going to be... T- like Now we're going to do the fourth quarter. And because the third quarter ended, the switch gets shut off and the other one gets flipped on. And what, this is going to be a fucking tie game. So what happens? Fourth quarter starts. The fucking Celtics can't score a bucket for like the first four minutes. 
And next thing you know, like the wizards are down by three. And Josh is sitting down again. And I'm just laughing. It's like, how many fucking NBA games do you have to watch? Which you really do. If you just want to, if you really get into the games and you feel like you're going to fucking die a thousand deaths, what you should really do is just watch the last two minutes. God knows that takes as much time as the first fucking 46 minutes. Just watch the last two minutes because it's going to be like a fucking three point game anyways. And, um, whatever the ebb and flow and then somehow the Celtics pulled away again. But, um, I gotta tell you, it's going to be a fucking brutal series, brutal series. And I think, uh, Jay Crowder might get kicked out for one game. There's going to be some sort of physical altercation. I don't know what's going to happen. I've been looking into my fucking crystal ball. I don't know who it's going to be, but somebody's going to get fucking kicked out of the game, uh, get suspended for a game because these fucking teams hate each other. And um, you already started to see it happen a little bit in the first game. I just They just don't like each other. But I got to tell you something. I actually love that John Wall guy. I love when uh, uh, Josh showed me this fucking... Uh, whatever the fuck, Instagram picture or something like that. I guess a couple of years ago they lost to the uh, Atlanta, um, what the fuck are they, the Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks? Yeah, St. Louis Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks, right? They lose to them. And one of the guys on Atlanta, you know, had a picture of them in the final seconds of winning. And John Wall has a real sad look on his face. The dude who posted it, it's real happy. And then there's another Atlanta Hawk looking at John Wall, laughing at him. And uh, I guess John Wall didn't forget about this. So when they beat Atlanta, he posted a picture of him, you know, doing a crossover. And the guy who posted the picture fell on his fucking ass. I love people that hold grudges like that. I think that to be great, you have to be like that. Which is why Eli Manning is such a fucking enigma. You know what I mean? I swear to God, like if you saw that guy in the most... In the final two two minute offense of a Super Bowl, his heart rate is the same as somebody at a fucking bake sale right outside a church. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, thanks for coming out. Oh, look how big your kids are getting. That's where his heart rate is. You know, I swear to God, they should just, you know, those dockers he's always wearing with the fucking sweater tucked into them. They should just make a uniform just to completely psych out the other team. If I was the Giants, I'd, he'd have like a special pair of football pants they, they would be the same color as dockers he'd still have the pads and shit in them but you know some sort of dad jeans <laughs> so anyways i think the uh celtics wizards is going to go uh i think that's going to go seven and i think it's going to be fucking brutal i think uh the wizards win the next one and then i think we split down in dc i think it's just going to go back and forth back and forth back and forth um they're that evenly matched and um I don't know. I always forget the guy's name, that fucking Polish Transylvanian dude, the white dude with the shaved head whose entire body is as fucking hard as the top of his goddamn head. I mean, that guy looks like he could have played like fucking professionally, could have played like at least three different sports. Could have fucking played been some gigantic fucking tight end, you know? He's, look at his body. He's like fucking white LeBron. I know, I know I'm going on a limb there, but I'm telling you, that guy is a fucking beast. I was joking with Josh Cohen, his dad that fucking grew up in Eastern Europe. His dad probably fucking beat him with one of those f- fireplace pokers, right? We're all laughing. And I was sitting there going like, that that can't be the name. There's got to be a different name for the for a fire fireplace poker. I'm just saying what it does. That can't be the name. And I looked it up, and that's exactly what it's called. Fireplace poker? That's the best they could come up with? They couldn't come up with some widget name? You know, even with like the ladies, they got that thing they put in the hair. Somebody came up. What's it called? Ah, it's called a floby. A what? Yeah, a floby. The fuck is a floby? That's ah, something you stick in your hair. Makes it do a couple of whoop doos I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me do. Um, let me uh, let me 